Dude, I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Burnham's has chicken wings, all right. Nah, I'm good. All right, mister, I'm too good for chicken wings. Let's see. Oh, Hokey Bigelow has quesadillas. No, we had that last week. Oh, well, how about pizza from Bistro 3? Hey, hey guys. I'm pretty hungry too, you know. We got nothing here to eat. Alrighty, let's go. Text Sarah, tell her that we'll meet her there in 10 minutes. Okay, but first we gotta go to Harrison Stinson. I gotta get my marketing book and notes from Katie. Alright, well, if we go there, then we have to go to Western View to see my older brother. I promised my mom that I'd pick up some cookies that she made. <laughs> And that's where our story begins. Our two young heroes in search of food. First, they had to pack. Mark and Dave gathered their backpacks and put on their jackets. <clears throat> they put on their jackets. They synchronized their watches and said their goodbyes. And so they set off on their quest for sustenance. Our pizza pioneers arrived at Harrison Stinson, home to the business community, a well-known part of Valley 3. A third of the three valleys which are not actually in a valley. They are on a hill, but that's another story. Man, I'm so hungry. We need yeah. to get to Bistro 3 soon. All right, let me just talk to Katie really fast. All right. Before they could get to the bistro, they needed to get what they came for. Notes from Katie. Hey, Katie. Oh, hey, Dave. Do you have the notes? Yeah, I have the notes. Where are the notes? Uh, right here. Oh. Well, can I have the notes? Yeah. Thanks. Notes in hand and stomachs rumbling, our crust crusaders set off on the next leg of their adventure. pilgrims arrived at the Western View Apartments, a magical place where upperclassmen reside. Come on, man, let's go. I'm in the middle of a game, Mark. I'm hungry, Chip. Don't chip me, Mark. Not in front of my friends, okay? Do you want to leave right now? Yes. Are you hungry? Okay. Yes. All right, fine. Leave right now. As our deep dish dreamers entered the apartment style housing, they caught a glimpse of their future as seniors, or maybe even grad students. Do you wanna stick around or? No, we're, we're gonna go meet Sarah at oh, Easter yeah. 3 and okay. have pizza. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah. great. Right. Yeah, great. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great. Cool. Mom, I said thanks? Yeah, you can text her yourself. Love you. And so our mozzarella mercenaries were off, headed to complete the penultimate task at hand. At last, 
our slice seekers arrived at Smith Burnham to retrieve a charger and a friend. But it wouldn't be that easy. Excuse me, do you guys live here? No, sorry, we mean a friend. You're gonna have to wait here for your friend to let you in. They quickly came up with a plan. Uh, okay, you go to the game room and get your charger and I'll wait here for Charlotte. But how will she know we're here? They came up with another plan. I can text her. <laughs> Charlene got the text. She put on her jacket. While Dave searched high and low for his missing phone charger. Hey guys. had yet to subside. Did our sly seekers have another stop? Would they make it to the bistro in time to meet Sarah? Would they choose pepperoni or supreme? Would there be any pizza left? Huzzah! Finally, their journey's end was nigh. Our chow chasers would soon realize their cooked to perfection fate. without it. Seriously? You had one job. After all that, you don't even have the one thing that you need. I forgot this in the room. And there they were, at last. Our two heroes finally got their pizza. Several delicious, glorious slices of pizza. The best pizza in the land. Pizza worth a thousand more journeys such as this. Hi guys, glad you made it. Sadly, this is where we must bid them adieu. Fare thee well, young heroes. May your future journeys be swift and your bellies keep full. <laughs>